What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. I'm back with another video. Good, good. Some more news about the Rec X Twelve. Good news, even for PC gamers. Um, tomorrow, look for you if you guys are thinking about picking up this game. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give my it's finished. Uh, finally, got around and beating it. Uh, I'm gonna give a full breakdown of my thoughts. You know, the boss battles, the powers. Is it worth picking up? You know. Um, it a little up to the height. And um, like I said, um, tomorrow I'm going to do that. But right now, it's a developer, uh, Brad Wardell, who's making some bold statements there. Yeah, he's making, uh, hold on. And he's saying here uh, that the Xbox One is going to double in power and performance when it... Um, when Direct X12 comes out, you know what I mean, he's based, and he did gave an interview. I will leave a link down below. He said the results are spectacular, not just in theory, but in practice. You know what I mean? Um, he said the Xbox One's biggest beneficiary is it effectively gives every Xbox One, I'm sorry, every every <laughs> every Xbox One owner a new GPU that's twice as fast as the old one. Wow, you know what I mean? Wow, like he said, you know, Direct X12. I look at I look at it like this. You know what I mean? In this depth, he's working on the um, uh, the Star Swarm demo. You know what I mean? Now, this is nothing to do with the cloud Microsoft thing they have planned, you know, to do. But um, with this Direct X12, this also leads me to believe that the Xbox One was supposed to come out to next year. You know what I mean? But I guess they didn't want Sony to get too big of a leap on them, whatever the case may be. Um, but he, you know, so they, you know, this guy here, Brad Wardell. When he gave this interview here, you know, people ran to his Twitter, asked him questions, and he was saying, like, like, nah, he didn't, he didn't back away. What he was saying, like, he just said, he said, that as far as the Xbox One, that all eight cores will be able to s split the workload. Know what I mean, so you're gonna have eight. Well, I know it's the PlayStation Four. I'm sorry, you only can use six of the eight cores. He said at his mouth that you're gonna be able to use. I'm sorry, that the Xbox One, that all eight cores will be able to split up the workload. You know what I mean? But in, like I said, but like I said, the downside of the Direct X12 is that well, let's say if you had a, a, a rig, an older rig, you know what I mean, two five six Ti's, whatever the case may be, that your card now in th well, not in theory, but it's in practice, is going to be working twice as hard. You know what I mean? So if you had problem already with your heat inside your rig already, you know you're going to have to add some, you know, additional fans or whatever the case may be. But like I said, you I play this. You can have the strongest console in the world, or the strongest whatever. But if you don't have the, the software and the tools to extract the power, that means nothing. Now I remember the founder of Atari gave her an interview. Was thinking like, wasn't 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 last year. It was something he was here before last. And he's saying why you know he think Microsoft is gonna do well this generation. He said that Microsoft has some of the best software and tools around. You know what I mean? It is what it is now. Like I said the other day, like if Direct X12 lives up to the hype and do all that, what it's, it's basically saying, like, damn, I can't wait. I'm going to be excited. You know what I mean? Twice as powerful what we have right now for $400. Hey, I, I can't wait. I'm excited. Imagine Rise looking twice as good as they already did or whatever the case may be. Or uh, Crytek and having access to, you know what I mean, twice the power that they had for the original Rise. Like, this shit is going to be amazing. You know what I mean? I, I can't fucking wait. I wonder what's going to be the first game to fully use uh, Direct X12 as far as the Xbox One. Now, the Xbox One, like I said, no, it has some Direct X12 features now. But, at the end of the day, I can't wait. Uh, Quantum Break, I can't wait for that game. Uh, Sunset Overdrive. Now, none of those games I'm naming right there are going to be half. <laughs> are going to be Direct X12. They said, you know, they said as far as 2015. Next year, 2015. But like I said, I'm excited. Now, also, Microsoft just gave a tech demo. Uh, they finally showed off the cloud, a building breaking apart, whatever the case may be, and that was really, you know, that was dope shit, too. But this is dope. Like I said, if the Rec X12 is all the what they're saying, this guy hit um, Brad Wardell is saying, you know, I know it, it, it possibly cut the CPU usage in half by 50%, but, um, you know, they, they ain't really going too much detail, but he's, you know, like, you know, the, he's, like, making some bold statements here. And they asked him via Twitter, and he said, yeah, you know what I mean? Not just for the Xbox One, but you know PC gamers too. But he said the big, uh, the Xbox One is the biggest uh, beneficiary of the Rec X12. Like wow, like you know, 
this is going to be amazing, man. I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, shit, it's a, it's a good gift. I should, I'm still, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, I mean, Killer Instinct season two. But you know, when we we get the, when we get the download, uh, April nineteenth for the arcade mode and stuff like that in full girl. I'm looking forward to. That. I don't. I wonder what season two is coming. I hope they give an announcement at E3, because um, I don't think Microsoft thought that Killer Instinct was going to be as big as it was. That's that's a good that's a great fucking game. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen 720. Uh let me know what you guys think. I will leave a link down below. I know your opponent's gonna say it's bullshit, da 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 It is what it is, man. You know, ain't none of you guys here developers, it's the devs coming out and saying what it is, I mean. So like I said, I will leave a link, let you guys get it, spin it, damn so talk a bunch of bullshit in the comments says, get it. You ready? Mark set go pop shit now. We out of here.